What is Monero? Good question. Good question, my man. Monero, my, my elevator pitch is Monero is the private, anonymous, untraceable version of Bitcoin. So it's it's true digital cash. Similar, you know, similar to Bitcoin, uses all the, the same basic blockchain technology, uh, was invented a few years after Bitcoin, and it was invented in response to Bitcoin in an effort to make it more cash-like. Uh, so the primary difference being, um, you know, blockchain technology, uh, ledgers coming, to, you know, uh, nodes coming to consensus on the ledger, but in Monero, the ledger is obfuscated. In Bitcoin, the ledger is is transparent. All the transactions can be seen. All the amounts can be seen. The sender and receiver's address can be seen. In Monero, all those components are obfuscated. So effectively, uh, you're doing the same thing as Bitcoin in terms of how it how the architecture works, but you're not revealing the transactions to the world as you do this. So it, it, it creates privacy among the users. And most importantly, perhaps, it creates fungibility so that when people do transact, there's no question as to the history of those transactions. There's no history that can be attached to any transaction because the blockchain is obfuscated. Whereas in Bitcoin, histories are inevitably attached to transactions because of the nature of the transparent blockchain. And because of that, Bitcoin, one Bitcoin is viewed differently potentially as another because of the previous transactions. So it, it lacks fungibility. And so Monero solves the fungibility problem of Bitcoin. Okay. Um, so you mentioned um, a few, quite a few things there um, that I want to maybe dive into. Um, so you said true digital cash. Okay. Um, and I guess maybe for people that are unaware, um, I suppose why is true digital cash important? Um, and why, why did you call it true digital cash? I, I think maybe I'm aware of why you did that. Um, I think because maybe it affords you some of the same benefits as actual, you know, paper cash does, but it's just the digital version. But I guess what benefits does actual cash give you? And then, you know, how is that like replicated in digital form? Yeah, yeah, great, great question. So, I mean, ca cash, as as we all traditionally know, it is, uh, you know, it's it's a bearer asset that that holds value, that people can transact peer to peer, right? In the in the real world, you're 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 selling donuts. Your donuts cost whatever six dollars. I could take six dollars out of my pocket, transfer it to you. It goes from me directly to you. It didn't go through any bank didn't go through any third party, right? It's a bearer asset. It's like I gave you gold coins, right? Or I give you six US dollars. Uh, and additionally, when that transaction happens, it's not broadcast to the entire world. World, It's just that transaction happening between you and I, right? Nobody else knows that that happened. They don't know how much I sent. They don't know when I sent it. And so there is a lot of utility in, in having cash, right? Uh, it allows people to essentially communicate value in a free speech-like manner, right? Without surveillance or potentially censorship, right? Because if you're not going through to third party, if it's not going through some corporate server, or if it's not being monitored by the government, when that transaction is made, it's just between two, two people that have agreed to make it, and there's no third party that can, can influence it. And so we've become used to this concept, right? We just, cash is king, right? We're all used to transacting in this way. But as we transfer into the digital realm, which we're all kind of effectively here already, uh, we, you know, there's this I, belief that uh, we're, we're not, you know, if, if cash is eliminated in the real world, that will have uh, no way or no replacement in the digital. And so Monero is set out to solve that problem. Arguably, that's the problem that Bitcoin tried to solve. It's literally the title of the white paper, peer-to-peer -peer digital cash system, right? Uh, and so Bitcoin and then Monero was invented for this purpose of solving that problem, of allowing people to transact peer-to-peer -peer in digital form without any censorship 
or surveillance, essentially. So they could do uh, cash-like things now on the internet. Unchecked governments have eradicated privacy and truth. Those who resist are brought down swiftly, but we refuse to submit. Unipunks are freedom fighters, protected by encrypted shadows. The future we're building is sovereign and uncensorable. The moon at night is coming.